we couldn't leave Lviv without having Sirniki one more time. So we went to the same place and ordered some with smoked salmon. Because we're very sophisticated, you know? And I've gotta say, the combination of textures, creamy sweet and salty smoked flavors were sensational. And we ordered the same ones as the day before, with pistachio yogurt, raspberries and honey, which again were just amazing. So we just go out of the city, which took a while, and we are on our way to Carpathian Mountains. And we're actually going to the most famous ski resort in Ukraine, which is called Bukavel. And it's supposed to be just breathtakingly gorgeous, so let's go and check it out. So we're just driving through the city of Ivano-Frankivsk at the moment and we've just seen what's possibly the world's biggest cement factory. We've it seen. was massive. <laughs> so yeah, I think somewhere up here we turn right and then we head up into the Carpathians. We just arrived. The drive supposed to have taken us about four hours and it took just over six. We were stuck in traffic for ages. Let's go have a look around. Well, see what we booked first and chuck all our things in there and stuff. We just checked in and this is our room and there was so nice they had few rooms available and they were like which one would you prefer this one or that one anyway pick this one there is the bathroom the bed tv nope and the best thing obviously is the view Hence why we picked this room. It's so beautiful. It smells really nice in here because everything is made out of wood. Nice and woody. <laughs> so when you come into this place, we're on the fourth floor, but they were like, you can take your shoes off on the entrance and they give you these little tapachki. So yeah, you have to wear these the whole time you're in the apartment, which is quite nice, I suppose. Keeps it nice and clean. Yep, and those stinky shoes out there. <laughs> right, let's head out into Bukaville and have a look around and get something to eat because we're starving. actually not in the very center of Bukavel. The very center is right there and we're not there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not there which is the center so we're not in the center. <laughs> Thanks. So we just come to the top of the village and it's so peaceful and quiet here. I love the view, I love seeing all these houses going up the hill so pretty
right? Time's getting on, it's 6.45 and we haven't eaten since about 12, so let's go get something to eat. show you what we ordered. I ordered some Ukrainian wine. <laughs> Tastes like borscht. <laughs> we ordered borscht and vareniki again. <laughs> this is How could we resist? This is our favorite things. One of our favorite things in the world. So we just can't resist. And we ordered this, which is called draniki or diruny in Ukrainian. And this is basically a potato dish. It looks, it looks very, very delicious. But uh, first things first. You got to have your smetana in the borscht. It's just like my heaven. <laughs> oh. So for those of you that don't know, borscht is a beetroot soup and I'm a big fan of beetroot. And there's lots of vegetables like carrots, onions, cabbage, beetroot and meat. I think well you can find all kinds of meat. This one is beef. Beef, I suppose what is beef? Beef. And I think it's traditionally beef. And some parsley, fresh parsley on top. And it's normally served with some sour cream. Amazing sour cream. And garlic with some rye bread which goes with it just perfectly and we have some Ukrainian sala with it which is um, pig's fat basically oh there's potatoes as well in here oh honestly what not to love it's so good right and we've also got here vareniki which are basically dumplings if some people might know them from Poland as pierogi mm -hmm. and vareniki is what they're called in Ukraine and Russia as well these are with potato and, of course, we've got the sour cream. Eels. The ultimate comfort food. Mm-hmm. Incredible. I used to ask them all the time at home. <laughs> Julie used to cook them all the time. And especially, like, because I used to work shift, so I was always working nights. And, like, I used to I would text her if I'm on nights and be like, can we have Varenki at some point soon? It's like the ultimate comfort food to come back after a night shift too. Love it, love it. Right, and last but not least, we have the Draniki to try. But who's gonna try it? Me. And the Epi Dranik. My God, this is stuffed. Oh, look at this beauty. This is the poshest Dranik I've ever had. Mushrooms in there, yeah? Yeah. Okay. That is a massive bite. I believe in you. Good job I've got a big mouth. <sighs> that doesn't feel right. Essentially, is like um, potato pancakes. So you would just grate a hell of a lot of <laughs> so you would just grate a lot of potatoes, and you would add some grated onion to it as well, which makes it just amazing. Squeeze it all out and make it into paste. I would add some egg to it, and then it just in little blobbies, uh, thin blobbies, 
you just fry them on the pan and this one is stuffed I think it's like a giant dranik and uh, it's got some stuffing in I think it's mushroom and cheese and just, just fold it over and some cheese on top it's that that is as well like a comfort food for me I remember like my aunties now this video that we have on our channel about my uh, auntie's house and she would always cook it in the winter like when I would stay around there and oh my god but after walking in this freezing temperature walking in and the smell of it it's such a simple food like grated potatoes with onion but uh, it's just something about it it doesn't get any better it's so delicious I, I adore them I didn't have them for such a long time I think I made them last time. That's where I had it, but I made them last time. Right, it's definitely getting chilly now, so let's head back to the apartment. Good morning. Last night we ended up working till late, and this morning we were up really early. Let's go and have a look in the centre of Bukavel. Right, so we just pulled up in Bukavel and there's loads of car parks when you get here all over the place so we just picked one that was close to a cable car. Let's try and go up the mountain I guess. so busy out here but the views are so incredible so just down there is where we stayed last night right so where we're walking here is actually on the ski runs which have dried up <laughs> surprise <laughs> surprise, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Bukovel itself is actually one of the biggest ski resorts in Eastern Europe and there's, when we were looking on the map earlier, there's runs everywhere, all over, because it's set in a natural valley with sort of mountains on all sides. So there's runs all coming back down into the village and all sorts of cable cars going up all over the place. I definitely want to come here in the winter. Yeah, Ski. me too. It looks amazing. And it's just the mountains here as well, like are so, everything's so green. They're so, it's so uh -huh. typically like European, isn't it? In feeling, it's just beautiful. But also they don't seem, I probably think that now, because there is no snow and I'm on my foot, no skis, they don't look too steep, they look no, 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 I thought that on the maybe way up to be honest. Run. It, it could be a perspective thing, maybe, <laughs> because there's no snow, <laughs> and then you go on a ski and... Some ski resorts in the summer just seem to die off and apart from like hikers and the odd mountain bikers you don't really see many people but here in Bukovel like you've got the zip line you've got the roller coaster thing that we're looking at doing now <laughs> like it's like a proper summer resort as well which is really cool <laughs> we're doing it <laughs> it looks so much fun all the instructions were in Ukrainian. We didn't get any of it. No.
again? I would do it again. <laughs> He's so cool. <laughs> The thing is, it seems a lot bigger when you're going up on the cable car, Probably like, and you're watching. Going so yeah, because we're going so slow. Yeah, but that is so quick. Oh my god! It's awesome. So, <laughs> so we are back in the car, as you can see, and we're off to our next destination. To be honest, we weren't sure if Bookerville was going to be worth us coming to mm. in the summer because it's a winter destination, obviously being a ski resort, but it was, it was awesome and that yes. was so much fun. Yes. If I was rich, I would build myself this ride. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to leave this video here and start the next one straight away, so you're not going to miss anything. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. For me though, <laughs> I can't, I don't know why I seem to walk and don't lift my legs properly. So I just went and paid down on the first floor, came back upstairs and near enough every stair I'm going. So we ordered water So for those of you. And last but not least, we have the Devaniki to try. <laughs> <laughs> it was really rushing, but like, uh -huh. it. leave it. And last but not last but not least, <laughs> there is a mountain, and it's called Hamak, which means hamster. Apparently, it's really hard to climb it. Just like hamsters are hard to climb. <laughs> <laughs>